Buyers and renters in England will be able to move houses again from Wednesday, May 13, on the plans set out by the government to restart a real estate market all but frozen by virus restrictions, UK Housing Minister Robert Jenrick said in a briefing on Wednesday. While people in the middle of buying a house have been allowed to move if reasonably necessary during the coronavirus lockdown, which began in March, property viewings were halted and estate agents' offices closed to the public. Today, we reopen, we restart, and we renew the housing market and the construction industry to protect lives, to save jobs, and to begin rebuilding our economy, Jenrick said on Wednesday's daily government briefing on the coronavirus. 11,327 people are in hospital with COVID-19, down 15% from 13,273 cases last week. And sadly, of those tested positive for coronavirus across all settings, 33,186 have now died. That's an increase of 494 fatalities since yesterday. These figures include deaths in all settings, not just in hospitals. Eight agents' offices can reopen Viewings, whether virtual or in-person, are permitted. Show homes can open. And removal companies and the other essential parts of the sales and the lettings process are restarted with immediate effect. Joining us to discuss developments in the UK is journalist Angus Thomas. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Good morning. How are you? We're good, thank you. What is the situation with you in the UK? Well, I can only speak from my own family's point of view, and um, the latest government uh, announcement has actually been very confusing. Um, but um, it's a, it's a double-edged sword for us because um, we've actually had a very good experience of coronavirus. We've all we've all had it actually, not very seriously, but everyone in my household has had it. Um, and uh, but we know people who have had a very serious time with it. I mean, uh, one of the doctors in my local practice was actually uh, intubated for five days, um, and six weeks six weeks on, he's uh, very weak indeed. But the positive side of this is that um, we've had the whole family home for about two months now, um, and uh, when they announced the relaxing of the restrictions uh, this week, we were actually in some respects quite sad uh, although it's been very very hard work in our household um I, I we, know you had... are, okay i know you are a, John, um, a photographer as well and much of what you do is outdoors how has yeah. the covid 19 reality affected your work well in, uh, it's interesting because um we've got a broad mix in my house so uh, uh being a photographer i mean all my work went on day one. Uh, so I've actually been at home for the last, um, I think, nearly two months now. I've lost count. Uh, my wife is working US hours. Uh, so she works more or less um, 11 o'clock in the morning until 11 o'clock at night. Uh, my stepson is working nights, uh, working for Amazon. So he's working 11 at night until 10 in the morning. So uh, it's been um, it's, it's been a very strange existence uh, these these last six weeks. And uh, because I'm not working, I'm the one who gets to do all the uh, washing, ironing, cooking, cleaning, shopping, and looking after various parents delivering food. Certainly, life has changed in many ways for you. W would you agree that COVID-19 has changed all possible known uh, reality? And how has this affected you um, psychologically and otherwise? Well, I have to say, psychologically has been the biggest issue for us. Uh, I think to lose, uh, uh, being a photographer, I, I, I have lots of small connections that I make through jobs. Uh, and uh, I miss that day-to-day -day contact with clients and, um, and just, you know, just having a coffee and a chat. Um, it's been very difficult. Um, uh, me personally, I've done a huge amount of uh, exercise. Um, I've done a lot of breathing exercises to manage my anxiety because there's just something about being locked up. And, and even though this is a, you know, I live with my family and I live with a woman that I love, uh, you know, things can get tense after, after eight weeks at home. Certainly. What, what do you foresee as the new normal post-COVID-19? It seems to be our language now, new normal, new normal. What do you see post-COVID-19? 
Well, the old normal was pretty scary, to be honest with you. Um, the, I think the new normal uh, will be a lot different. I mean, I, I feel my background originally was in property development, and I feel sorry for the landlords who are holding big uh, office blocks because – uh, certainly from my wife's company's point of view, what this pro pro has proven uh, is that people can be trusted to work from home. Uh, I, I mean, I live in the middle of the countryside. I'm very lucky. Uh, and we have a fantastic fiber optic uh, connection to the Internet. And even as a photographer, you know, I'm, I'm able to work quite happily uploading very big video files to the Internet. So uh, my wife is managing um, about 400 people worldwide via uh, Zoom and Skype at the moment. And, and that's actually going extremely well. So um, I, I foresee a lot more home working. I foresee uh, in, in the immediate future a lot more exercise classes being do, done by Zoom. I mean, a, a lot of the people that I know who are fitness instructors, for example, have very quickly uh, wrote, um, faced their business towards the Internet uh, rather than um, person to person. So in my view, at least for the next 12 months, we're not going to be going to big yoga classes. We're not going to be going to the gym. Um, but um, who knows what will come out of that? Because um, as they say, nature abhors a vacuum. And we've got a vacuum and personal contact. We will find a way uh, uh, to get around that. Yes, we are resident uh, folks. Thank you very much for joining us. And please stay updated okay, and you. safe. Thank you very much indeed. Have a good day. You too.